Okay, so as you can tell, we added this hole, this hole, this hole, and these two, and I nicked over here and over here. This was already existing from the old lock, but the, the new lock will cover those holes. Okay, got to make sure everything is level. Sometimes you can get a little bit off when you're drilling from one side of the door. Looks like this one I'm going to have to widen out just a little bit. Now the other problem is this lock is already handed for a right-handed door because the way it's set now the hinges are on the left side. Um, so we have to flip, reverse the lock. Okay, so there is a way you got to take off the cylinder from here and then spin the whole rosetta around the other way and same thing from the inside. You to insert it in this hole. Nothing else is too deep. This is a great tool to have. And same thing from the inside on this side to flip the mechanism around. After you pop off the handle from the inside, you have to push the detent in manually with your tool to get the whole assembly off. Now, we're gonna very simply disconnect this little wire and just turn this whole mechanism around and the same thing from the inside the detent has to face the other way okay now the detent faces this way and the uh, latch is over here so we're good we're going to pop it back on and insert the lock on the door as you can see the lock went in perfectly okay everything aligned screw holes right there the cables are sticking out of here. We're gonna insert this plate on the door. It says even top right there, so you know where how to put it. The cable goes right in through that little opening. And we're gonna use the shorter two screws in the 12 and six positions to put it on the door. So we're gonna take the body of the lock and insert it on Now, another problem is sometimes that I run into is these holes here don't match. So what I do is I take off these two screws just gently and play with the plate, move it up until it lines up. And you have these small screws, this guy here, that go on the side of this and this assembly right here. Okay, so we're gonna undo those two and play with the plate just a little bit and then tighten it up when everything's on there. See, the plate is still a little loose. And now I'm going to insert the other screw. See, it's perfectly aligned. Nice and easy. You don't want to force it because they'll break. These two screws will break if you do it too hard. And now we tighten up both of those. So they're nice and tight. And now we grab the two long screws and put them right through the openings. And again, don't make it too tight, because if you do, the lock will have a tough time releasing the latch. Not too tight. And we can test it out by sliding on. Beautiful spring action, nothing's too tight. Everything is good. That's it, now we take the battery, connect it back here. And this cable connects to this cable right here. Put the battery in there nice, nice and loose. The wires are on the bottom. We'll take the battery cover, push it on. And you got a small screw on the bottom that I'm gonna put now and the lock is installed. This is about a 10 to 15 minute installation, not an hour or two. It's a really easy lock to install and the best lock on the market. Test it out, one, two, three, four, five, green light. Everything's good. Now to put the cherry on top, we're gonna to put a multi-lock cylinder instead of this piece of junk. And uh, we're good to go, good luck.